If you have visited Golden Beach, Maroochydore North Shore or Karamundi Lake recently, you may have encountered some feathered friends. These are not terns or seagulls, these are our migratory shorebirds and they're visiting from over 25,000 kilometres away. There are 37 different species of migratory shorebirds that visit us here in Australia and these different species can have completely different looks, habitats and origins to each other. In this episode we will explore four types of shorebirds common to the Sunshine Coast. The Pacific Golden Plover, the Bar-tailed Godwit, the Wimbrel and the Eastern Curlew. Hailing from the Arctic tundras of Alaska and Siberia, the Pacific Golden Plover is a remarkable bird that is able to run soon after hatching. Its light grey and white colours that help it camouflage in the Arctic tundra also help these birds stand out on the muddy and rocky wetlands of the Maroochydore North Shore. The Bar-tailed Godwit is a marathon bird, with its migration being the longest known non-stop flight of any bird and the longest without pausing to feed. The bar-tailed godwit is streaked with grey-brown colours and its white eyebrows are its most contrasting feature from its close counterpart, the black-tailed godwit. Both male and female godwits share in the incubation of the eggs and are often found in large flocks on the Calandra coastline. The wimbrel is a larger bird with a long curved beak that it uses to dig into the sand to eat crabs and other invertebrates. The wimbrel is smaller than the eastern curlew with a shorter bill but shares a similar brown streak complexion. The best time to see wimbrels is at low tide, just be sure to bring a spotting scope with you to catch them in the distance on the sand banks of the Sunshine Coast. The eastern curlew has been described as a miracle of nature. Curlews live for 20 years and despite being the largest of all the world's shorebirds, in those years can fly nearly 400,000 kilometres. During its time here on the Sunshine Coast, the curlew will double its body fat to prepare for the journey home. It can be identified by its size and its enormous down curved bill. These are just a few remarkable facts about a handful of the amazing species of shorebirds you can find along our coastline. In the next episode, we will look at how the council surveys and works for the conservation of these shorebirds. So join us next time for another look into the shorebirds of the Sunshine Coast.